Early access provided by EA FireMonkeys, presented by EA Creator Network. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through a new feature called Midtown Cafe. So this will be available with the July 2022 update. And you need to be a level 27 or above to begin this. To get to the cafe we firstly need to build the Midtown Terminal. So this is a bus terminal and you can find it next to the children's store in Simtown. So let's build that first. This is the early access version, so I'm just going to speed through this. Once it's finished building, when you click on it, you'll get a pop-up that says start your business. So it says Midtown Cafe. Ever wanted to run your own cafe? Buy equipment, hire staff and grow your cafe. Once you've clicked on that, you'll then start the tutorial. So this will explain how the event works. So we're going to tap on the terminal firstly to go to Midtown. And here you'll see a very empty cafe. So this is the start of your business. So we're going to click on the cafe menu button in the top left corner. This is where you'll find all your cafe information. The first tab is your progress and cafe issues. So this is the progress bar. Customers will reward your cafe with likes and the likes are then used to progress. So five likes will earn you this first prize here. The amount of likes you need will increase as you go through this event. There's also a time limit on this, so you'll need to complete it in time to unlock that as a free item for the cafe, otherwise you have to buy it. So we've skipped forward a little bit and I've missed the timer milestone for the sandwich display. So now I'm gonna have to purchase that from the upgrades tab if I want to add it to my cafe and we need to add it to the cafe to be able to progress. So from the second tab along we've got the cafe equipment and we can purchase it for 500 cafe coins but that would be free if you didn't miss that milestone. These milestones also earn you time limited prizes that you can use in your own builds. If you miss out on these you can buy them for social points. So we reached the point of the tutorial where we need to start a shift so we click on the start shift on the cafe progress tab. You can complete two cafe shifts in a 24 hour period. These are all non-playable sims so you can't really play as them but you can get them to do certain actions. So the customers will come in and there will be a green circle around their head. This is the timer. Once that runs out they will get angry. The ones with the orange circles above their head are impatient sims so they have a shorter timer. So it's a good idea to bump them up the queue so you can click on them and select bump and that will put them at the front of the queue so they get served first. This stops your staff getting stressed out because if they fill up their stress bar, as you can see at the moment, that is their stress bar. If that is full, then they will have a stress event and two stress events at the end of a shift. They can call in sick or if they have three stress events, then they will quit. So the meter will go up if they have angry customers, but it can go down if you click take a break on them and they will decrease that meter. So you need them to take a break before it fills up otherwise they will have a stress event. So I'm going to show you what a stress event looks like. So we've got three very angry customers here. So each time they deal with an angry customer they get more and more stressed. You can see her bar has increased and it will increase again. So I worked it out that you need four stressful customers to get a stress event. So this is the fourth one and you can see a member of staff has suffered a stress event. So we've got that danger symbol above her head and if you click on her you can see she's got one of three stress events on her bar there and it says skip break so she's going to take a break after she's finished dealing with this angry customer. And at the end of the shift you can see that she got two stress events so she called in sick so she was unavailable for three hours after that. And you can see again on the manage staff roster, that sim is currently off sick. Let me show you a sim taking a break. So her stress level is getting fairly high now. So we can click on her and select send on break. And once she's finished dealing with this customer, she'll be able to head outside for some air. And you can see her stress bar is decreasing and she'll be out there until it's fully decreased. So this is how you avoid stress events by making sure your sims take regular breaks. 
They will go back to work when they're ready, you don't need to click anything. The third tab is your staff management button. So if we click on that, we can see firstly the roster, so that's who you've got working. The second tab is manage, so you can give these sims time off. Because with each shift they work, their happiness level will decrease, so you'll need to give them time off to put them in a good mood again. Time off lasts 45 minutes. Once they level up that bar, they can complete training to earn training perks. So if you click the upgrade button in the corner there, you can see the levels there are to complete. So at level two, they will complete faster ordering. Level three, a slower stress gain. Level four is recover faster when they're on breaks. And level five, they will increase their stress tolerance. So it would take four stress events for them to quit rather than three. There are 10 levels in total, so they will keep decreasing as they level up. So they're not gonna decrease all at the same time. Each time they level up, they will decrease or increase one of those perks. They earn 10 points each shift they complete. So four shifts need to be completed for this sim to reach level two. Tours is the next thing to talk about. So these are bus tours, so groups of tourists that come to your cafe. These are the customers you need to serve to get the likes. You can have four a shift. So a shift is four hours long and you can do four in those hours. You can pick whether you want to do an easier or harder tour. Harder tours have more tourists and they don't like waiting as long. But you will earn more likes if you do a harder tour. Harder tours are more likely to have special tourists as well. So we have these symbols in the middle here. The one underneath the cafe credit symbol is money bag. So these are sims who will tip extra cafe credits when you complete their orders. So you can see the challenging tour has one sim who's in money bags and will give you extra credits. When you're ready to start the tour, you click accept tour. So you select which one you want to do. For the tutorial, you have to do the challenging tour and it shows you the money bag sim is the one with the yellow timer. So if we click on those and select bump, they'll be at the front of the queue so we will get those extra cafe credits. If you leave them too long, it will turn into a green timer and you won't get those extra credits. Once the tour is complete, you have to wait an hour before you can start another one and you can only complete four in a shift. As well as money bags, we also have influencers. So they will give us bonus likes. So you can see here, if we complete the challenging tour, we will have two influencers appear. And under risks, you can see the impatient sim. So if we completed the easy one, there would be one impatient sim. But we're gonna select the challenging tour so we can take a look at these influencers. So you can see the influencer has the blue circle above their head with a thumbs up symbol in it. So let's bump those up to the front of the queue. I was a bit slow so another sim got there before I had a chance to bump up this sim. You can see the blue circle is going down and you've got the green circle behind it. Once their blue circle is completely gone you'll just be left with the green circle so you won't get those extra likes if you take too long. So you can see here two thumbs up symbols have appeared so we earned five and two likes from that one customer. And here you can see what happens when you don't get to an influencer in time. There's also an impatient sim behind. So they're both going to lose their patience at about the same time. And you can see that there's no longer the like symbol on the influencer. So you won't get any extra likes from him. So this says you can get to Midtown from the active tasks menu. So you can, you can get to there from Simtown using the terminal or you can click on your active task and Midtown Cafe will appear and you click on the symbol at the end and it will take you straight to the cafe. It does take about 40 seconds for them to deal with one customer, which seems like quite a long time. I'm hoping it's just the early access version, but it's slightly lagged as well when they hand over the money. But hopefully that's just the early access version and it will be okay in the real thing. So once you've completed the tour, a pop-up will appear to say it's complete and it shows you your earnings and how many likes you've got. And we've also got this 
bar at the top that says milestone reach so that means we've completed one of the levels so we in this case we've completed level one and we've unlocked the toaster so this will be installed once your shift is over and this goes for all upgrades including visual changes to the area of midtown as well so you need to wait for the shift to be over before you'll unlock these changes in your cafe you'll get this pop up when the shift is over as well and you'll see the toaster has now been installed so now we've completed that one the next milestone timer started so you'll see it on the right hand side of your screen so we need to reach level five within three days to unlock the next item which is the milkshake machine now we have a toaster we need a toaster specialist so to hire them you need to go to the third tab which is staff management and the third tab along on that is hire so here you'll see firstly their name and then what their speciality is then shows the wages per shift that you need to pay to the left of that you'll see how happy they are currently and at the bottom it shows you how much it will cost you to hire them so these are all our toast specialists they're all level one the level amount can be seen underneath their picture now one Riley is really happy the other Riley isn't as happy which is why it is cheaper to hire him so I'm just gonna go for the cheaper one so when we start a new shift you will see your new sims appear there ready to go and you can see now we have the toaster this equipment needs upgrading to be able to make more items that your customers require so you can see that in the second tab along you've got the equipment and it shows you firstly what levels they unlock at if they're not unlocked yet and then it will show you what you unlock with each upgrade then in the decor tab you can then change the appearance of some of your items so in the bench tops we can change it to either be pine or walnut so I've changed it to pine and we can also get rid of these cue markers if you don't like them or you can change the cue markers so we can have the big yellow stickers or you can get rid of them completely I do prefer it without them I think it looks much cleaner we haven't looked at the surrounding area of the cafe yet so you can see at the moment it's all pretty drab there's not a lot going on the aim really is as you upgrade your cafe you upgrade the area around it so currently we've got shops that are boarded up not a lot going on but it's going to look incredible as we continue to upgrade and grow this cafe and grow the community as well so you can completely customize this you can make the cafe as big as you like in this gridded area you will unlock these extra spaces here as you can continue to upgrade your cafe so these buildings will be demolished and you'll be able to expand further there are some things you can't move so you can't move the countertops and the equipment this is so you don't mess with the functionality of the cafe so it still works and your sims can still get to where they need to be you can't move the two single doors either again that's so you can still use the cafe but you can move the sink as you can see you can move the double doors, the windows and all the decor items so you can pretty much make this how you want it to look bar moving the counters which I think is a fair deal I really like that we can completely customise it usually when you get like businesses and games like this you can't do anything with it at all you have to leave it as it is but this is so that it grows with the area which I think is really good because it starts off with that little small building and then you can turn it into something amazing so here I'm just changing the colours of some of my equipment so it all matches the counters you do this exactly the same way as you did with the counters you click on that little build by symbol in the corner of the equipment and then you change the one that's installed I'm going to briefly show you all of the levels and what you unlock 
But if you want to see this in more detail, check out my Midtown Cafe post on my blog. That will explain it all in far more detail than I can put into this video. And it will go into more detail about upgrades and anything else that you need to know about this event. Some items you unlock are tour requests, so these are new items that your customers would like you to make and to make them you need to upgrade some of your equipment. So to make the chai latte we're going to need to upgrade the coffee machine. So you can see here level 2 and you can see the same chai symbol that was on the unlock bar and when you click on it it will say upgrading the coffee machine as chai lattes which will earn you more cafe credits. So each time you upgrade, you will earn more cafe credits from your customers because you've upgraded that item. Every piece of equipment has seven upgrades on it. They don't all unlock a new item. Some of them just increase the price of that item. So you will get more cafe credits than if you didn't upgrade. If you don't upgrade your items, you will notice it because when you go to complete tours, you won't have as many items to be able to give to these customers so they won't give you as many coins than if you had those items. So it will tell you if your requirements aren't met so you can try and fix it before you start the tour if you've got enough of the credits. I did say that all equipment you unlock can be upgraded to level 7. That's not entirely true. Once you unlock the cash register at level 25 you will be able to upgrade that to level 5. So this will allow you to complete payments faster so it will cut a couple of seconds off each time. To be honest I didn't notice that much of a difference. Maybe if I played it a bit more it would be more obvious. But I didn't really think well this is so much faster because it really wasn't. If you wanted to boost this, you can purchase packs for real money, so you've got the cafe boosts. You've got the mega manager pack, this contains all three of the managers, so you've got the director, manager and assistant, that will give you 100% more credits per tour, 500 more per shift and 1000 when you purchase it, as well as 150 social points and 100 VIP points. The Cafe Manager Pack will earn you 30% more credits per tour, 100 more per shift and 200 now. You'll also earn 80 VIP points. The Cafe Assistant Pack will earn you 20% more credits per tour, 50 more per shift and 100 credits now. You also earn 50 VIP points if you purchase that pack. You've also got credit packs so you can just purchase the credits if you would prefer or you don't have to purchase any of them. Lastly, let me briefly show you how the cafe and surrounding area looks when you complete the upgrades for it. So at level 20, you get your first cafe upgrade. Once you complete the shift, the upgrade will appear. So the end of shift is here and then you'll see the reminder about the upgrade and then it will upgrade a little confetti and already you can see the difference. So we have this extra space next to the cafe. We also have this lovely graffiti on the wall there. And it's already looking brighter. There's more things going on across the road. 
And over here we've got this little rooftop garden coming along. The shop is open. And we've demolished this area here so we've got more room to build our cafe. So that is how it looks from level 20. Annoyingly though, even this has a time limit on it. So if you miss this time limit, you have to pay before you can move on. You can't even complete another shift until you've paid. I really don't like this because firstly, you have to pay social points to get past this barrier. Not everyone has social points. And I feel like that's just a way of making people have to spend real money to get those social points. And I'm not a fan of that at all. I also know that not everyone has that many simoleons knocking around. And it probably would have cost millions of simoleons to get past this point. But I would like the option. I think everyone would like the option to either be able to use social points, simoleons or lifestyle points to get past this point. Because it's not really fair because you can't even complete another shift to earn any credits until you've handed over social points to complete this. And it's not just this level. If you miss the upgrade at level 35, you'll have to pay 45 social points to get past that. And if you miss the time limit for the final level, which is 45, you'll have to pay 60 social points to be able to complete Midtown Cafe. But let's not dwell on that because... I do like this event, I think it's a great idea and everything else is pretty good apart from that slight issue. So let's take a look at the level 35 upgrade now and you can see the second building has been demolished so we've got an even bigger space now. That is now 12 by 24. The area around the outside is getting more and more colourful with each upgrade. This rooftop area here is looking amazing. We've got more graffiti. I really love that one. That's great. And you can see you've got this huge gridded area to work with now. The final level, as well as the upgrade to Midtown, you also earn the exclusive gold coffee machine. Sims be able to wash their hands and make coffee on their own. We unlock hair for female and male adult sims and also cafe uniforms for them too. In buy mode you'll be able to buy the large and small coffee bean bags and drinks fridges. I know all the sims here are not your sims but you can actually bring 10 sims to the cafe if you want to but they won't work there. Or be customers but they can use the facilities. Let's level up now and we have reached the final milestone so the cafe is now complete and we've earned those limited time prizes as well. And this is how it looks when it is complete. Obviously your cafe will look much better than this. You will have designed it. But the outside area looks amazing. This has got a rooftop garden here. You've got the cycle lane, the bus lane. You've got the rainbow coloured walk there. Really love that. Oh, I didn't show you across the road, but there's some lovely shops over there. It all looks so bright and colourful now and so much more inviting than it did before. Once you complete Midtown Cafe, you can still complete shifts because you can still earn cafe credits that you can use to spend in buy mode. When you've completed the cafe, all the items in buy mode at the cafe will cost your credits rather than simoleons, LP, social points. So it is really worth doing. And also even if you want to build a room or if you want to see a room just cost one credit doesn't matter what size it is a floor construction 21 credits amazing so i would recommend leaving your building until after the whole cafe is complete because it will save you a lot of money obviously you're going to need a lot of credits but you can still complete shifts you won't get any tours so your staff won't be stressed but you will be able to earn your credits. 
which I think is great because it still has a purpose after the event is over. But if you do buy items here, you won't be able to store them and use them in houses in Simtown. They can only be used here because obviously you're not really paying for them. And that was my guide to Midtown Cafe on The Sims Freeplay. So this will be available with the July 2022 update. Make sure you check out my blog post for more detailed information on how this event works. The link will be in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.